Okay, so we, we are still in our discussion on inverse Laplace transform, which we have already um, tackled the common concepts. So the definition, some of the common properties and theorems of inverse Laplace transform. So that is on the previous video. So now we'll have an example, okay? So we have the, we'll get the inverse Laplace transform of 15 over s squared plus 4s plus 13. Okay, so for this one, we'll just apply the concept which we learned on the previous um, meeting, the, the Laplace of f s minus a, or the inverse Laplace of this one, okay, is equal to a to the a t, inverse Laplace of f of s, which is equal to a to the e t f of t. So first, we need to find, need to find a, a, a way to, so that we could complete the square of the denominator. Okay, so in doing that, we have um, inverse Laplace of 15, over s squared plus 4s plus 13 so we will have completing the square so this is 4 so 4 so it will go that the the common for this one so this will be could have that one as 15 over s squared plus 4s so to complete this one we must have to make this one as a perfect square, so we have 4. Okay. So this 4 here that we add, we deduct it to the 13. So we have plus 13. So that is plus 13. We deduct the 4. So that will be 9. 9. Okay. So it will be 9. So we end up now with 15 over. So we need to factor out this one. So that is S plus 2 squared okay then plus 3 squared okay so this is a uh, Laplace uh, a cosine function a uh, sine function because we have here this constant in the upper part but we, but this also must be must be 3 here so we could factor out the 5 so that it will become um, 5 here so you have here 3 over s plus 2 squared plus 3 squared so we have now the sine now this one this this is this will be our s minus a but as you can see this is s plus a so we could say that our a here is negative 2 so we will have a final answer of the Laplace transform of 15 over s squared plus 4s plus 13 is equal to 5. Then we have the e raised to the power of 80 where our a is equal to negative 2. So we have e negative 2t. Then we have the this one. Okay. So our k here is Three. So we have sine three t, and this is now our answer. So if you are going to review this one, our a is negative two because it's, this is s minus a. So your the perfect square form must be on s minus a. But your as you can see, it is positive here, so that's why you have. You have a as negative 2 so that it could be positive this one then your k is 3 because the form for sine if you could have that one here you have the yellow the form for sine kt is equals to k over s squared plus k squared so your s now is s minus a same k squared so this is the form of this one so we follow that our k is 3 so that's why it is sine 3t 
in here, sine to 80. And we have, and we follow also this one, a to the 80, which is our a is equals to negative 2. So that's why we have negative 2t. And the 5, we factor out the 5 so that we will left with t here following the uh, Laplace transform of sine kt. Okay? So I hope you understand how to solve um, this type of problem, the inverse Laplace transform. And I hope you learned something from this video. And as always, enjoy learning.